in this building, Florida television began. WTVJ on March 21st, 1949, began broadcasting and became the first television station in Florida. The gentleman with me this evening was here. That first night, we began television. Mitchell Wolfson, president of Wometco Enterprises and WTVJ. Colonel Wolfson uh, went off to war. He left Miami Beach when he was the mayor of Miami Beach. When he came back, he said he learned that the Germans had an unbelievable communication network. So he came back from World War II as a, as a colonel, and he wanted to be able to communicate more with Miami and the state of Florida and beyond and television was just firing up. It seemed to me that television had the greatest opportunity in which we could serve and profit from communication. Carl Wolfson, who was the owner, was really a hot TV person. He wanted to do everything he could do to expand television. And his vision was to use this incredible technology to inform people, to empower people, and to inspire people, and to have a close connection to the community to be relevant. He took risks. He took risks with the first movie theater when he started it during the Great Depression. So he returned from war and was taking another risk. You know, the original building was the Capitol Theater. Romatko, of course, owned the Capitol Theater and the, and the theaters in town. So they decided to close the theater and make it into a TV studio. We took over the whole theater and had a big control room and a tremendous studio. It was 316 North Miami Avenue. They broadcast from 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 10 o'clock at night, and all it was was feature films or kinescopes of shows that had run in New York three weeks before. Following immediately are the news, weather, sports, and the full-length musical, The Singing Marine. It was kind of chaotic, no question about it. We didn't really know what we were doing. You look, walk up into your engineering department and you'd open up a rack. Cables all over the place. Everything was done live and I hate to tell you how many mistakes and errors were made. When they signed on the air, no one could afford a television and there wasn't much product on TV to watch anyway. My dad started putting free televisions in shop windows all along North Miami Avenue, Flagler. And when the show came on, people would gather outside the store and on watch TV. And then of course, as people bought more and more sets, the TV went on the air around the clock. Tracy, uh, what do you think of television? Oh, I think it's wonderful. You know, I, have, I hardly ever watch radio anymore. That night seems a long time ago, but I must admit, we didn't realize then the full impact this new medium would have on the community. It almost bankrupted the family, I was told. For years, it really was a losing, losing venture. Then it started to take hold, catch up in, I guess, the, the early 60s and John Fitzgerald Kennedy's death that it exploded. Well, we're excited, but we're so busy doing all the, the the remotes. <laughs> we wondered where it would lead us when we started that first evening. I don't think any of us expected it to grow so fast. Channel 4 at the time, now Channel 6, was, uh, was, the, was the station. WTVJ had been around since the beginning of time, <laughs> or at least the beginning of television news. You know, it was sort of such an institution in the city. It's the oldest station, it was the greatest station, it was the Walter Cronkite, it was the top of the heap. Working at WTVJ, you worked with the people who began the industry in South Florida, and if not, the entire state of Florida. We all had one goal in mind, to make television go in this area, and we made it go. Believe you me, we made it go. WTVJ News is on the scene to get today's news today. Hi, I'm Shelly. Thank you for checking out our NBC6 South Florida YouTube channel. You want more videos like the kind you just watched? Click right here on the subscribe button below. 
Get the latest stories, interviews, caught on camera, and more. Digital exclusives as well. All for you. Subscribe now.